Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would kick off the um, Shop My Stash series again for 2021, get my first makeup selection done. I'm going to be aiming to try and do this twice a month. I think that's realistic. I definitely can't do it every week, no way. But fortnightly it seems very very doable and I'm going to be making sure that I don't select too many products because in the past I think I've been a bit overwhelmed by making massive selections. On top of all that I have my different project panning challenges and things going on as well so I've got other products in there that I'm wanting to use so I will incorporate those into my makeup that I'll be wearing you know obviously on a a regular basis so I'm really looking forward to doing this and um, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out what sort of things I'm going to be choosing but I am going to be quite keen I think to try some new products as well as they come in because sometimes it's just really exciting to try something that's brand new so it doesn't it's not going to be necessarily the oldest things in my um collection it's just going to be whatever I fancy at the time and just how I'm feeling in that particular day when I'm making my choices I have got some new storage coming from Amazon I ordered it in the middle of the night last night when I just couldn't sleep and that should be here tomorrow because I'm just getting a little bit like overwhelmed on my vanity because I've got my different project pannings going on so I've got different bits and pieces all over and I'm thinking by the time I've got my weekly makeup as well usually I used to store that in my drawer but I just want everything out where I can see it and it can all like be mixed in together. That's fine because I'll know what's in my different projects. And when I come to sort of um, organise it, I've got different drawers and things. In fact, I'm going to pop a little picture here or here just for you to have a look. This is what I've got coming tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to getting this and there's a good sort of variety of depths of draw and widths of draw. So I think I should be able to... Um, just get lots of different pro um, products in there and then yeah it should be really really nicely organized look smart and tidy and then um, smart and tidy <laughs> do you know what I mean just neat and organized and then yeah hopefully I'll be able to see everything and if I can see it I'll use it that's the plan so if there is anything as we go along that you really fancy the look of and I haven't chosen it do just mention in the comment box down below and I'll bear that in mind and I can sort of like pull it into maybe the next week's um selection you know and we'll see or if there's anything you've got and you're not sure about it or you'd like me to just give you a little feedback about how i found it again let me know and i can give you my thoughts and um and comments on that so without further ado let's whiz you around and go pick some makeup okay so if you are all familiar with this draw um i'm sure you are by now there's actually um what's missing oh my lip balms and things are missing from here because from my 365 days of lippy challenge so all my lip products have been removed and they're now in a different place which i'll, I'll show you in a minute so let's have a little look and see what we can use for a primer actually i don't think i've used this one yet and this is the bare minerals primer it's only seven mils as well so that might be quite nice to do it and um, so we'll get one of those and is this the the new one i've got um, a different ilamasca one i can't remember if this is it i think that's the original one i'm sure i've got a different hydro veil I wonder where that is. Hmm. Let me just have a little look. Bear with me. I haven't packed away. Oops, sorry guys. I haven't packed away my birch box yet. Was it in here? This is the December one. No, it's not. But there are some products in here I can pack away. So that's good. Oh. Okay. So I'll pack a few of these away as we go. I'm sure I've got another Illamasqua primer. I wonder where that is. Oh well, not to worry, it will show up. Um, right then, so I don't want that Illamasqua one because that's the original one. I am wanting something else though. Shall we get a little bit of... Let's get this little mini Charlotte Tilbury, which is the Wonder Glow. So that's two little primers, that's good enough. Um, my usual foundation is this 110, the 24 Hour Fresh Wear by L'Oreal Infallible. That feels like it's nearly finished, which is good. And let's put in 
what looks like I could maybe get it used. These are just looking so disgusting. Right, let's try this one, the Revlon. Well, it's this photo ready candid and it is in the shirt. So it's a natural finish in buff. So we'll um, try that. I can't even remember what this is like. Um, yeah, we'll give that one a go. And I'm going to pop on, let's try and get a little bit of this on the under eye eraser. I'm just dreadful at using things like this. So we'll try and get a bit of use out of that. And then a setting spray. I'll get out the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist. Okay, so that's that draw. Next, we've got some eyeshadow palettes. Now, I have got a mini palette, which I'll... Um, for um, pan that palette but it is only like it's the tiny pans one it's a small sleek palette and i've also got a single pan that i'm trying to use a part of a quad um from my monochromatic challenge so i've got a couple of eyeshadows but i would like to get um a palette out now i've got this in my fab fit fun um which is laura geller cinnamon and spice i think i've only swatched a couple of colors so i'd quite like to just pull this out just to see what it's like um it looks a really pretty palette really lovely colors so i'm going to give that one a little go and that's the only palette i'm going to bring out i'm just trying to be really sensible about this right guys next we've got some like we've got my blushes my highlighters i've got um liquid highlighters and bronzers now i have got another bronzer here which is what i just got from the birch box that's that one there but pretty sure that in here yes i've got one so i'm going to pop this one which is new into a giveaway so i'm going to get a little giveaway box i think and then we'll start collecting for a giveaway so let's have a look for blushes i'm going to try i got this natasha denona in one of my advent calendars does it look fantastic or was it glossy i can't remember but it's a nice pinky um, blush and highlight. So I'll have that and then I'll just get a more neutral blush as well. And that's all I'll need. So I'll get the number seven. That'll do just first pull out, which is in Honey. So they're two quite nice contrasting ones. Plus there's a little highlighter there, um, which looks quite champagne-y. So I'll get a more golden-y highlighter to give that a go. oh we'll get the morphe one out so this is morphe in blend the rules and it's a high impact highlighter um get a bronzer what haven't i used oh so this is by real her this is pretty new I'm not too fussed about having lots of bronzers, but it'd be nice just to try this. Oh, gosh, this is difficult to open. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so it looks like a nice matte one. So we'll pop that in and we'll just use that as my only bronzer. I hope that I like it. Um, I'm not going to take out a mini palette or anything because I've got my mini palette from um, my Project Pan plus my other one that I'm using up as well. So for brows, I think I'm just going to get a, a gel because I've been using one of my... Um, oh no, I'll get a pencil as well. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. I'll get this one, which is the Beauty Crop, and it is the Brow Friends Forever. Oh, it's a bit of fluff. Um, it is a clear brow gel, so that's really good. So I can use that along with um my powder that I'm trying to use. Yeah, I'm just trying to use up the um like the matte browns as well as a brow, just to do my brows with, just to try and get this palette finished. Now for eyeliners, let's have a look. So we've got a little Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon. I haven't used this yet. It's only little. Let's have a look at this. Oh. Twist. Oh, that's really smooth. Oh, I'll give that a go. That's really nice. And I'll pop it back in here just now. 
but I'll end up getting rid of that package just in case there's any information on there that I want just to begin with. Um, so yeah, that's one eyeliner there. Let's get another one as well. I might start going through my brushes actually, just to sort of try them and see which ones I like and what I don't. So what's this? Can't even see what this name is anymore. I'm not sure, but it's a pen. Okay, and it seems to still work. So I'll give that one a go. I'll see if I can try to find out what brand that is and I'll let you know on the update. Uh, mascara. Um, we'll just get out this one, which is a Lily Lolo. I think I got this maybe like in a vegan kind or natural beauty box, I think. Oh, look at that. Nice, big, fat brush. So we'll give that a go. It feels quite nice, actually. Probably had it ages, but I'm not too worried. As long as it works, it's not dried out and it's in black. Do I get another mascara as well? We'll get two mascaras. It's nice to have a little choice. Okay, let's get this one, which is a sleek makeup. I'm conditional mascara. It's only a mini. And again, that's um, a different type of brush, but it's quite a fat spiral. So we'll see. And it's a good way of testing to see if any of these have dried up as well. So that is that. And do you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to get some lashes. I'm going to try some lashes. Um, I've got a few days off coming off. So I'm going to get some out with it. A thought of maybe doing them i have got oh i've got a lash glue pencil in here somewhere well i know this one's definitely a glue liner um so we'll give this one a go look how fancy that is and um, it's really clever. It's just a liner there, but it's also a lash glue. So smart. It's really sticky. So I'll give that a go. And I'll get a pair of lashes that aren't too scary. Oh, look. I that was lucky. First go. They're looking like little three-quarter ones, really. So I think that might be a good starter one. And yeah, three-quarter length lash. Kick at the corners. Ideal for giving lashes a subtle lift. Um, cherish. They have got glue inside, but I'm going to try that um, that lash liner glue. Okay, so that's that. And then, look at this drawer. How lonely. This is where all my lipsticks used to be. Let me show you. Hang on. Ooh. If you're interested, I am going to be. I'm doing a three six five days of lippy challenge. You might have already seen my video. This is all my lipsticks and everything in there. And I think I've got 270 something, something. I can't remember the exact number, but I've got an intro video, so go check it out. Now, it looks like something's leaked in here, which is interesting. I had a bit of a leak of something, not sure what. Ooh, but now I can get to my nail products. I might need to have a little nail polish declutter actually soon, but look at these they've been, obviously been sat there for ages so i'll give them a bit of a shake they'll soon mix in so i'm going to take a nail polish out i think let's see if i could just get a nice little neutrally one for my fingernails i've got a few days off coming up, up soon so i don't want anything too dark so i can wear the dark ones on my toes but just something pretty. Oh, what I will do is, I've just remembered, I've got this. Um, so I'm going to start using this. It's an all-in-one. It's a little nail treatment, which is meant to help your nails grow. So we'll do a little before and after for that. Well, let's show you now. Look, you can see my nails are really bad. Um, I've got makeup in here. <laughs> but yeah, they're really, really bad. So I'm going to put that in just to remind me. And let's just get a nice pale shade just to use. Actually, I've had this for so long. I'm going to give this one a go. I think I got this in the latest in Beauty ages ago. And they had all the different ones. which so just that Sally Hansen like, um, Miracle Gel Kit. So it's like the colour and the top coat. So we'll see what that's like and if it's still any good. Okay. 
that is that i'm gonna wish you around and we'll have a quick look through everything have a finish off chat and then that'll be it so this is everything here i'm just going to sort it out into some sort of order and then we'll have a little look and go from there Okay, guys, so this is all my makeup for the next couple of weeks. Plus, I have the things that I've got in my project pans as well. So I have a few other things there to play with, including the lip products. You might have noticed I've not chosen any lip products, and that's because I'm doing my 365 days of lippy. So um, I've already got 14 lip products selected. So if you want to see what those are, do um pop over to that video and you'll see everything that's coming up i'm going to have a chat with you actually about that in a second because i've just had a little thought about it so i will um have a chat in a minute so let, let's just run through this quickly so we've just got the um the two primers so we've got like a probably i suppose like a a glowy one and a more normal one i'm assuming this is like a normal one a smoothing free of stickiness I don't think it's um, an illuminating one, but we'll see. I like illuminating ones, so if it is, that's great. But I've got two primers, and these are both nice little sizes, 7 mils and 7 mils. And I think I've already used this a couple of times. So, um, yeah, if I get using these a lot, then you never know. I might get down them pretty well. Um, my regular foundation plus this one that I haven't used in the longest time, I can't remember what it's like. It says it's a natural finish. So I'll be able to check the formula and the colour and um, the coverage and see if it's something that I like. This that I have had in my collection for years. Now, it's not going to take too much just to finish that off. So I just need to put a bit of effort in. And I do think it probably needs to be decluttered soon because it must be absolutely disgusting by now. Um, my two blushes, so I've got like my peachy nude plus my pinky one from the Natasha Denona. Um, let me show you this quickly now and I can do a little swatch for you as well. It is beautiful. It's my first Natasha Denona product I've had. So it is a nice sort of pinky blush. And then there's the highlight. So we've got the blusher, which is really quite subtle. And the highlighter. I wonder if that's... I don't want a too buildable blush, but it looks like it could be quite natural and flattering. So yeah, there looks nice and pretty. And then just the... The nudie blush. I've worn this a few times. I do like it. It's just very sort of peachy and understated. Um, no shimmer, it completely matte, but it does make you give have like a bit of a nice sort of healthy colour. The Morphe highlighter. This is in Blend the Rules. I think I got this in Glossy Box at the start of last year. I think it's the only Morphe product they've ever had that I can think of. I've actually not used it very much. And again, I think it's just because it gets packed away. But I'm sure I quite liked it. Look at that. It looks so beautiful. Oh, don't say I've broken it. Phew, it's okay. Um, I'm sure this is a really nice one. Yeah, that's, and it's not too in your face. And it's definitely the sort of highlighter that I could um, I could wear and enjoy. So I'm happy that I've got that in. And then I can't even think what this is like. I don't know if I've just used it once or maybe just swatched it when I got it. And we've been getting a few of these in the beauty products recently. I'd never heard of um, this brand until literally just the last few months. So if any of you know anything about Real Hair, I'd be interested to hear about it. So it's quite a, a warm blusher. Um, okay. Gosh, it looks pigmented. We'll see how I get on with that. It might be nice as well as a crease colour. I'm looking forward to this palette so, so much. So it's the Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice. It's got all the um, names on the back as well. So it's just like, so I have so many palettes, these sorts of shades, but these are the shades I absolutely love. It's such a gorgeous, warm colour. Lovely rosy pinks and just golds and peaches. I just, it looks really, really pretty. Um, even like this, one there looks a nice colour. Um, let's do a couple of the shimmers. They feel nice. Oh, that's really pretty, that lovely pink. 
so we shall see what they work like i might end up bringing this in one time you know just to try and pan some shares i really like that isn't that beautiful um yeah i'm going to try some brow gel i've not opened this yet so i might do a little mark on it and i'll just sort of see how i get on with that that pencil which was really nice the mark jacobs one which was the top one then we had this liquid um liner the pen one which is the middle line and then i have the lash glue liner as well that's so jazzy isn't it and um that's that one there a couple of mascaras just to get through the sleek and the lily lolo and um, we've got the pixie glow mist which again i got in an advent calendar so I don't normally use these. My skin's been really dry though, so it might actually be quite nice as well. So it says here, propolis, I don't know what that is, and argan oil. So I imagine that's going to be quite nice. And it's a nourishing mist. So yeah, I suppose you just shake it up and give it a squirt. And then what I'm really impressed with myself for is things that I don't normally even put in here. I've got some nail polish, just... A nice neutral colour. I'll see if it's still any good. I've got this um thing. I've had this for a couple of months actually and I've still not opened it. So it's going to get me opening it. And I'll maybe try and get into the habit of applying this treatment to my nails. And then some lashes, maybe. <laughs> okay. Right, so that is all my makeup. And I had like a brainwave halfway through this video and I'm just not sure now what brainwave, a dilemma, what to do because I've chosen my 14 lipsticks for the first 14 days of January. It's now the 7th and I'm saying that my shop, my stash is going to run for two weeks. So I'm just wondering, do I try and pull my lipstick challenge in with shop my stash so they run at the same time so maybe come back in another seven days um after my first shop my stash and then just sort of um, revisit this and then just run them side by side so that then i know what colors i've chosen and then um i can show you the colors that i've just picked out for my lipstick challenge and then try and make my makeup choices to sort of go around what those lip products are so i think that's maybe a smart move <laughs> especially in the early days because once i've um, used the lip products and um, part of that challenge is if i like that lip product i can keep it out so once i've got a few more to go with it won't matter so much about when the um the choices are because there's always going to be like plenty of products i can dip back into from previous weeks um yeah it makes sense to me i don't know if i'm like putting it over how I mean it to be but yeah do let me know let me know what you want to see and what sort of format you want it to do because obviously I am doing all this panning alongside my shop my stash now and lots and lots of other people do as well and so I'm going to be watching more of their videos getting more ideas trying to sort of fine-tune this because I'm still very early days at knowing how to do shop my stash properly and knowing how to do panning and making them all work together so any hints and tips please leave them in the comments down below and honestly I won't be offended I'll be really thankful again if you um if you like to look through the my drawers i know lots of you really like that part of my video so let me know if you want that to stay or to go and um, i'm quite keen i think to keep it to stay because i do like sort of going through it myself as well and have a bit more of like a dialogue with you i think and think about what i'm wanting to use a little bit more and then um or if you'd rather i just make the selections off camera and then just come on and show you that's fine if you don't want to see my face <laughs> if you just want to see the makeup that's fine um and i'll go with what the majority of people want really so yeah or i might not even listen to your tone just still do what i want <laughs> Who knows but that is it for now i hope you've enjoyed watching as soon as my new storage arrives i will um let you see it in all its glory with all my new makeup well not new makeup all my newly chosen makeup to go in it and fill it up and i'm hoping that it's going to work perfectly for what i need it for for this year fingers crossed um yeah and who doesn't like buying storage i've got so much empty makeup storage around the place but um I just felt like I needed some more, so I got some. <laughs> right, guys, you take care. It is set to snow tonight and all overnight and into tomorrow here. So if you've got snow as well, let me know. If you've got it on your Instagram or your Facebook, let me know. Tag me. I'll come over and have a look at your photos. But stay safe, stay warm, take care, and I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now, guys. Bye.